I'm at the camping fair in Essen, Germany. This is an Achorn Camp Canada TE Plus motorhome and it costs, as you can see, 52,500 euros in this condition. It is 747 centimeters long, 237 centimeters wide, 294 height on a Renault Master, 130 horsepower, 96 kW. And it's kickoff price only 42,500. So it's got 10,000 of uh, euros worth of extras, one of which, incidentally, actually is delivery. So I don't know how you actually get it delivered without having it delivered. Uh, but another one is this um, bed, which goes up there. So if you want the bed up there, uh, that's an extra 1,200 or something like that. And uh, other things, which is a bigger fridge, for example. Uh, it's another one of the extras which is included. Now, is this a good idea or not? Well, uh, the bed here, uh, if you look down there, you can see me. I'm now standing under the bed, and that's how much space I have got. You know, I'm touching the bottom of the bed now. So you can see that. See that there's plenty of room there. So uh, I'm not going to complain in this case at the bed under the, uh, or over, I should say, the dinette. Uh, remember that the van is 294 centimeters high at its highest point and it does have that curve in the uh, top uh, to take care of the, 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 the dinette bed. Here we've got two singles. Get the impression you can join them but uh, it's not really the sort of thing you sort of normally join at the head rather than at the, the tail so to speak but anyway not, not in this case. We have got this curious looking um, wardrobe but plenty of space in there and in this case it's been used to hide these uh, thermal thing screens for the windows. Uh, you've also got a bit more storage up there, that's pretty good, up there, quite a lot of storage up there. Uh, it'd be better of course if they had a, um, a door on that I think. Now you can actually get the uh, something elastic things to put across there and uh, I think that would be a good idea. A company uh, which makes the Kipo system, well, I've done, I did a film up three years ago, you can actually see how that works. Let's have a look up here. And so you've got stacks of space up there. It hasn't got a ledge inside, and uh, I personally don't like ledges if it doesn't, if it takes too much space away. So that's great. And also putting these, oh, I've, I'll mention this while I'm here. Uh, the same system, Kipo system, works across there. You can have an elastic thing across here and that holds things in. Great, and you can sort of take things out from underneath as well. Great idea. Uh, anyway, I'll have to do a film, and I was going to do a film, but I didn't end up going there. So, unfortunately, uh, uh, we've got nothing to see. Right, here underneath, we have, I've got the, uh, I'll show you what it is. You've got the boiler. And you've got a bit of space above it. In this case, somebody's left some tools in there, I think. And on the other side, you've got a bit more storage. It's not really quite hanging space, it's not really deep enough, I think, or high enough for hanging space, but the, you know, I can get stuff under there, under the bed. It's your internal garage, so to speak. Yeah, we'll have a look down here, that's my last one here. There you see, that's your escape hatch. So you go in there when you want to hide. Play hide and seek, you go in there. So you've been asked to uh, clean the van up, you go and hide in there, pretend you've taken the dog out for a walk or something. Windows each side. Now here we have a very sensible sliding door leading to the toilet. Plenty of room in there. Now uh, one thing, which uh, a feature which uh, Ahorn has is these doors you can, you can actually close the door and I know this it's that's not an original feature there's plenty of other vans that do it but not many at this price level at the same time as well I just would like to point out that we've got up here we've got this brilliant Truma heating system and uh, that's a convenient place to put it on oh, it's a convenient a place to put your towels as well as you come out the shower. Now, uh, 749 centimeters long and uh, separate shower, separate bath. Um, 
you've got a fair bit of storage down here. You've got a independent bedroom, so to speak. Not entirely independent, because if you did have the option of the bed, as, as you can see up here, then um, if somebody was sleeping in the, in the up front there, they'd have to wake up whoever's in here to use the toilet. Then again, if you want to live in the thing, which is uh, not much more than what 16 square meters, then uh, that's that's the sort of thing that happens, isn't it? I mean, you can see the uh, bed's electronic, and uh, stick the key in there, and press the button up or down, and it goes up or down. Now another feature of Ahorn, which I really do appreciate, is the size of the kitchen sink, and. Uh, uh, that is a really good size. It's got a proper domestic uh, um, plug hole there, so you can get a, um, a little net thing in there. So when you're doing the washing up and bits of egg or whatever and onions and things fall off, you catch it in the net and you throw it out somewhere else, rather than getting into the system and blocking everything up. Cooker. The hob, I should say, really. You know, standard three, three burners. And up here, this is more or less the same as we saw earlier. Good size, though. Uh, do you want to see the, win the window? It looks like this one. There you go. Push that in. Nap comes up. Ooh. And that goes up like that. I've got a problem at the moment. I've got a thing called carpal tunnel syndrome. And when I try and do that there, I can really feel it on my arm. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna close it all the way up. I'm gonna do it with my left arm, not any problem. Oh, but it's very painful. Uh, that's why I'm trying now to hold the camera with my left hand. I'll show you this thing out here as well. I like that. <laughs> nice storage area for the kitchen. Okay, well it's relatively roomy here. See the sign there, it says AB from 42,500 euros. Now I am a big believer in you get what you pay for. But uh, it, it does seem to be pretty good value for money. The one thing is the width, 237 centimeters across, may be a little bit difficult and it certainly would be for me. So I'd like to actually make that point clear. Now, another thing though, on the positive side, I would like to point this out, look at the floor. It's completely flat. Even even down here with the join is relatively flat. That, that is super. Very, very good. And not many vans have these things here, but storage up here. My van's got this. But uh, not many other vans have it. Again, it's a pity though that it couldn't do something with the with putting some door a door on there or something like that. I appreciate it's an odd shape and trying to make the most of the shape, but it, it would be a little little nice. Okay, so what do you think of that one? Do you like this? It sort of appeals to me. I mean, I don't like the, the bed arrangement. That, that wouldn't be for me. I mean, horses, horses, I like to say. And there's the freezer. Okay, we'll have a 
quick walk around the outside. We'll see it from the outside as much as is possible. So there we have the uh, garage. And as you can possibly make out, there's a um, same door at the other side. You can see the escape hatch I mentioned earlier. And from here you can have a view of the uh, the front so you can see how that storage bit actually works. Now I have something like this, I, I have the feeling that it's got to affect aerodynamics. Um, I can't really say on mine because I haven't tried it without it on. I don't, I don't know. Um, this has the look of uh, quite a lot of Challenger vans uh, doing this type of front as well. Trigano groups I should say rather than Challenger, not just Challenger but there's other companies in Trigano groups such as uh, Chausson uh, which are doing the same sort of thing. Uh, even from here it looks uh, relatively impressive as a van. Right so as you can see there's plenty more vans here which have been filmed and you can see on my uh, website, you see my YouTube site as well. I haven't got any information on my website Motome Full Time on Ahorn, that I do know. But uh, you can see plenty of other films that I've done on uh, YouTube, should you be so interested. So there we have it, the Ahorn Canada TE Plus.